Now for this next part then we've got to work out the greatest height above A reached by the stone. So it's going to be obviously this distance here. I'm going to call that say H. So just mark that in as H. And to do this we're again going to use some SUVAT based equation. So just writing my variables down here again S, U, V, A and T what do we know? And we need to take upwards as positive again in the direction of the initial velocity. So S. S is going to be displacement. Starting from here we're going a distance there H so the displacement will be H. U, the initial velocity, we worked out in the previous part we had to show that it was 17 and a half. I'm going to write that as a top heavy fraction as 35 over 2, okay? 17 and a half though. Final velocity, when it gets up to the top here, it comes to instantaneous rest, okay? Just for an instant of a second, it's just at rest, in other words, zero meters per second. So final velocity v will be zero. The acceleration is downwards, so that's minus 9.8. And the time to get from here up to here, because of the symmetry of the problem, it will be half of three and four sevenths. If you did half of three and four sevenths, you get 25 fourteenths of a second. Okay? Now, that's up to you whether you decide to do that. But we've got a lot of values that we know here. So we've got a wealth of equations that we could use to get S or H in this case. We could use, for instance, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. We could use S equals VT minus a half AT squared. Not a popular equation I find that one. Um, what else could we use? V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. Oops, just should have put a 2 in there. 2AS. Or we could use S equals U plus V over 2 times the time T. Now, which one would I want to use? I'm going to go for this one. Okay, I just think it's going to be easier because I've got V is zero there. But leave it up to you. Experiment. See which one you think is going to work um, the best. But if I use that one here, okay, if I just put S equals, I'm going to take, make this two, and we're dividing by two, I'm going to write it as a half. We seem to be using some top heavy fractions here, so uh, it would look better that way around, I think. Half of u plus v, so that's going to be 35 upon 2 plus 0, or just simply 35 upon 2. And then that's multiplied by the time t, which remember I halved this value here. So that will be 25 over 14. And this works out really nicely, okay? If you work this out, you find that you get that H, S is H, it equals 125 over 8. Or if you want it as a decimal, that maximum height H is 15.625 meters exactly. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea, but do experiment with these equations and uh, check out that you do get exactly the same value. All right?